In this video, we'll cover the basics of getting started with the Spine UE4 runtime. The Spine UE4 runtime provides functionality to load, manipulate, and render spine animation data using Unreal Engine 4.27 and up. In this video, we'll show the installation process using version 5.2.0. Begin by creating a new empty C++ project. You can use blueprints in your C++ project, but a blueprints only project will not work because the spine plugin is written in C++. If you wish to add the spine plugin to an existing blueprints project, it must be converted to a C++ project by creating a new C++ class. Next, clone the Spine Runtime Git repository. If you're not using Git, simply download the latest version as a zip file and unpack it. Open the Spine UE4 folder. If you're using Windows, click on Setup Bat to copy the Spine CPP folder to the required folder. For macOS users, open Terminal, change the current working directory to the Spine UE4 folder and run Setup SH. Now copy the Plugins folder to your Projects folder. Add Spine plugin to public dependency module names in your project's build CS file. Reopen your project, and if you encounter a dialog saying missing, project name, modules, click yes to rebuild. After the installation is successful, the Spine plugin will be listed in the plugins browser, which can be accessed by navigating to edit and then selecting plugins. An example project compatible with Unreal Engine 4.27 and up is included in the Spine UE4 directory. Should you attempt to open it with a version other than 4.27, a prompt may appear asking if you want to convert the project. Select Open Copy or if you're comfortable modifying the example project's files for the newer version, click More Options and choose Convert in Place. After the conversion process, you will have access to the example project. Open the content drawer and find a folder named Getting Started. Inside this folder, you'll find seven example levels designed to help you understand the fundamentals of the Spine UE4 runtime. Each level includes instructions on how to run it and a description of what you'll see. You can inspect these examples along with the documentation to learn how to use each component. Let's export your skeleton from Spine and display it in Unreal Engine. Open your project in Spine and export the skeleton in either JSON or binary format. We recommend exporting binary as it is smaller in size and loads faster. Specify the output folder and ensure the pack checkbox is checked. Click on the pack settings button to open the texture packer settings dialog. By default, the pre-multiply alpha option is enabled. Currently, this is not supported by the Spine UE4 runtime, so be sure to uncheck this option. Click OK to proceed with the export. Now open your Unreal Engine project. Navigate to the content drawer and click on Import. Select the JSON or Scale file you exported from the Spine editor. The Asset Importer will automatically create Unreal Engine assets for the skeleton data and texture atlas. The importer assumes that the atlas and PNG files are located in the same directory as the JSON or scale file of your skeleton. If you encounter any errors during the import process, make sure that the version of the Spine Editor which you exported from matches the version of the Spine UE4 runtime you are using. Please note that changing the version option in the Export Settings dialog will not solve this issue because that is for downgrading the Spine project version only and is not supported by runtimes. The version of the Spine Editor itself must always match the Spine runtime version. If the Texture Atlas files have different names than the Skeleton Data JSON or Scale files, you will need to manually import the Texture Atlas files. Click on Import in the Content Drawer and select the Atlas file. The import process creates a Spine Skeleton Data asset for Skeleton Data files, a Spine Texture Atlas asset for the Texture Atlas file, and a texture asset for each texture atlas page, which will be put in a content folder called textures next to the texture atlas asset. The skeleton data asset stores information about the bone hierarchy, slots, draw order, animations, and other data that makes up your skeleton. 
Other components provided by the Spine UE4 runtime reference and share this skeleton data asset to animate and display skeletons as part of an Unreal Engine actor instance. The skeleton data asset also allows you to specify animation mix times. You can enter the default mix time and define mix times between specific animations by clicking the plus sign on the mix data property. To display the imported skeleton in a level, begin by creating an empty actor in your level. In the details panel of the actor, add a spine skeletal animation component and set the skeleton data and texture atlas properties to the assets you imported. Add a spine skeleton renderer component to your actor. You can now see your skeleton in the level. If the skeleton has no default attachments because all attachments are in skins, enter a skin name in the preview skin property of the spine skeleton animation component to see the skeleton. To update the skeleton, simply override the modified file. The Unreal Engine editor will detect the changes made to the source files and prompt you to re-import the assets from these files. If the changes to the source files are not recognized, you can manually re-import the assets. Double-click the Spine Skeleton Data or Texture Atlas asset in the Content Browser and select Re-import through the Assets menu. That's it for bringing your Spine Skeleton into Unreal Engine. In the next video, we will explore the examples to learn more about each component. Thank you for watching.